Hi guys, my name is Ashwin and uh, I'm coming to you with a video on uh, the accessories for the Galaxy Note. Uh, I've been making quite a few videos about the Galaxy Note and I've gotten a few requests on what accessories I use and where to get them. So that is the reason beyond this whole video. Uh, <clears throat> so let me start off. Um, before I start off, let me let you guys know that all the accessories that I'm going to list have uh, links to them in the description. Uh, links to the Amazon website where most of them are found. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to show you is the stand I use. This is a spider stand. So this is basically, uh, you know, eight uh, legs and sh stuff like that. You know, you just you can just bend it the way you want to and it works that way. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up and you can set it up any way you want to depending on the surface that you want to place your phone on. And the, uh, you can also, you know, keep your phone on it and plug the charger in below. Uh, the, it costs you about $8. Uh, and I've used it for around three months now and it's still sturdy enough and uh, it's not very flimsy or something. So, so it's pretty on. decent. The next, uh, the next accessory that I use is uh, extra batteries. So as far as extra batteries go, the ones that I use currently are uh, aftermarket batteries. Uh, it says 2600mAh, but it doesn't work that well. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, they cost about $15, $14 for two batteries and a charger. Uh, let me quickly open up my phone. One sec. Okay, so these batteries tend to give me about, uh, for moderate use, they tend to give me about uh, 20 to 30 hours. Uh, to put it in, you know, by better terms, the original battery that comes with the uh, Galaxy Note, uh, I've run battery tests on both. The original battery, uh, when the, what do you say, the, when the brightness is left at 100% and I run a looping video on it, uh, with 3G and Wi-Fi disabled, I get about uh, 8 hours, 45 minutes to 9 hours uh, of looping video playback. Uh, whereas on these batteries, I get about 6 hours. So yes, it's about 66% effective, but one of the original batteries cost you about uh, $28 and a charger cost you again about $28. So about $50, $56 for one battery and a charger. Make it two batteries and a charger that comes to what? 50, 76, 84 dollars. Over here you get two of these batteries plus a charger for about 14 dollars. So end of the day you get what you pay for and for the money that you actually spend on this it is worth. But then again I've got another option for you guys. Just a moment. Uh, the other option would be Hyperion extra batteries. Again you get uh, you get two batteries and a charger. Uh, it, this one is 10 dollars more expensive. Comes to about 25 dollars. But the thing with this battery is that it's got a lot of positive reviews from people who've used it. Uh, and yeah, you might ask me why I have not chose these batteries, but the point, but the issue for me is that they, I live in India and Hyperion does not ship to India, so I was not able to purchase these and uh, I was left to buy the aftermarket, uh, the aftermarket ones, these ones. So uh, if, you got, if anyone actually ends up buying the Hyperion batteries, let me know how they work out and I'll probably end up annotating that onto the video as well. Uh, the charger is pretty flimsy. Uh, what do you say? The pins are all... I mean, it will not stand rough use. Uh, you, uh, you probably end up dropping it a couple of times. It's gonna break. Uh, it comes with these standard US prongs. Uh, you know, other people, uh, people in other parts of the world can actually just, you know, find these. You get this for about a dollar uh, and just, you know, plug it in and it works. Uh, it's got a decent indicator over here. This glows red, a purplish red when the battery is charging and glows blue once the char charging is done. Uh, word of advice, uh, make sure that you don't, if you're traveling somewhere, make sure this is, this is not the only charger you carry. Make sure you, ch you carry your uh, cell phone's charger because uh, this charger, while it's effective, it's very, very slow. It takes about eight hours to get a battery charged. So, uh, and listen until you're sure you're going somewhere where you can actually plug it in for 8 hours. Day to day use it's fine because a, a battery is going to definitely give me around 20 hours. So, 
by the time that battery is used to have the other one ready but if you're traveling make sure you don't have this charger as the only one you have to charge the batteries because uh, I just made that mistake and I ended up stranded without charge though I had two batteries on me okay the next accessory that I'm gonna you know show you guys right now is the uh, micro SD card uh, let me just turn off the phone quickly this is the micro SD card I use it's a Lexar 32 gig card uh, a thing I wanted to let you guys know a lot of you would be aware of it but if not any card you buy has a class value you see the 10 inside the circle that means it's a class 10 card a class 10 card has a transfer speed of uh, 10 MB per second uh, other cards you know you get class 4 you get class 2 and so on uh, the higher the class the more expensive the cards are and it's pretty useful to have a high class card uh, so that you know you can transfer stuff to your computer and from your computer pretty fast so uh, this card though I have read some negative reviews on it at times but uh, with people saying uh, the card conks out in a few months and so on but I've been using it for three months and it's been good so far and if anything changes I'd probably annotate it onto the video this card again comes with a uh, micro SD card adapter just plug it in plug it into a pen drive I mean plug it into a USB port and you know it works like a USB drive uh, that's pretty much it so let me quickly put the card back in and turn my phone on I'll be right back my phone is loading the next accessory on my list is the micro USB to USB host adapter so uh, this just plugs into your what do you say your micro USB port and then you actually have USB host capabilities which means you can plug in a plug in a uh, uh, wireless adapter and end up using your what do you say using your mouse and your keyboard or you could plug in a thumb drive into this so uh, let me go ahead and plug a pen drive in this is a 1 gig drive so I mean I've plugged in 16 gigs or 32 gig drives and it's worked fine so let me quickly open up to my folder app uh, and navigate to USB storage tap it and that's my pen drive I've got my videos and my video on it uh, see I plug it off and it's gone but I generally don't do it this way just go in and you know uh, unmount the storage before you plug it out just to be safe uh, this costs about a couple of dollars uh, two to three dollars at max um, I don't know it off the top of my head I'll probably put it in the description again uh, the next accessory that I'm going to talk about uh, uh, it's something that had me confused for a while the screen protectors okay the first thing I want to tell you about uh, the note is that the screen is extremely scra scratchable uh, yes a lot of people think or you know there is a whole dis uh, discussion on whether the note has a gorilla glass or not uh, it isn't listed on the under specifications but people insist that it does but you can just click on the link that pops up right now and <coughs> excuse me that will take you uh, to my review of the galaxy note uh, I'll try to link it to the exact minute where I actually talk about the screens and without the scratch card on you could actually see that I have a few scratches on my screen and I'm extremely careful with my note and uh, that video was made you know within a couple of weeks of me buying the note uh, when my scratch card was actually in transit because I live in India and it has to be shipped over here it took a few weeks to get here and in that time I actually used the uh, what do you say the flip case and still the screen got scratched pretty easily so uh, as far as I'm concerned a scratch card or a screen protector is mandatory with this phone uh, currently I'm using a privacy screen protector uh, on top so you can see that's how it is uh, it's pretty I mean the privacy part of it is okay I mean as long as the brightness is low it does a very good job and once you kind of increase the brightness not so much though at full brightness it still dims everything when you view it from the sides but it's still vi visible uh, what I like about this uh, screen protector is that you know it's got a matte kind of finish uh, it's very very uh, what do you say resistant to finger smudges as you can see uh, okay prior to this I actually had a wet application Skinomi full body screen protector uh, a full body skin rather uh, 
that is very very good as in I still have it on for the body of the phone uh, but not for the screen because it actually came off uh, so now that I've actually used both uh, I would suggest that a dry application a matte screen protector or a privacy screen protector uh, would be better for this phone the reason being that uh, with a full body skin we get a lot of uh, fingerprint smudges and that's really annoying while watching videos and stuff and apart from that uh, the skin is kinda what do you say it causes indents it's pretty pretty soft and it causes indents so when we use the S Pen okay I'm gonna actually indent my cover over here and you actually touch it you can see the indentation that forms over here uh, that was a problem area for me uh, with the skin uh, but still uh, as far as the body goes I prefer the full body skin the full body skin costs about $15 with the what do you say the screen protector included that is uh, the wet application skin for the whole phone costs around fifteen dollars uh, the privacy screen protector comes to about eight dollars okay one more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is with the privacy screen protector yes there is a thirty percent loss of brightness but that is not really uh, it doesn't matter a lot because see this is the low, lowest brightness setting right now and yes I'm indoors and I've got a lot of uh, lighting but even outdoors you know unless you're gonna spend the whole day outdoors I really don't think this 30% loss of brightness, loss of brightness is going to be a big thing. Uh, but then again, there's one thing that I need to point out to you guys. Oops, I almost dropped my phone. Uh, okay, let me quickly play a video or, you know, a still pic. Okay, let me open up this picture. Okay, so as far as the this screen protector goes, when you zoom in enough, uh, guys, if you, if you want to see this, uh, I would consider switching the video on to 1080p or 720p because I don't think it will be visible otherwise uh, you can see the small lines running uh, that's not the camera that is the screen protector uh, you see those lines running over there and that is caused by uh, matte screen protectors privacy screen protectors and so on uh, yes when you zoom in this much and you actually look at it it is annoying but end of the day so when you play a video or something it's, no, it's barely no noticeable so let me just play a quick video. So at this point you can see the lines, but when you're normally watching it, you're not gonna notice it. Because when I got it, I re when I put the screen protector on, I really did notice it for a while. But when I watched videos and, uh, and all on it, it was pretty perfect. And again, uh, with this, with the privacy screen protector, you're not going to have any issues using the S Pen. It doesn't scratch easily, no fingerprints, no indentations and so on. So, those are my two cents uh, when it comes as to screen protectors. Go, uh, you, I do use a Bluetooth headset and... Uh, the link to my review of that headset would pop up right now so just click on it if you want to check out my bluetooth headset and before you do that make sure you hit like and subscribe uh, so once again videos, thank you all for watching guys uh, that's pretty much it for this video if you have any kind of questions uh, leave it in the comment section or send me a message uh, you can follow me on twitter at cursed forever that's c-u-r-s-e-d the number 4 e-v-a uh, or you can email me at ash at cursedforever.com uh, the link to my Facebook page is in the description as well. So, uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, you guys have a great day. And before you go, please hit like on the video. Subscribe to me if you can. Thank you. Bye-bye.